Hello, my fellow Misfortune fans, and welcome to another episode of Eye into Diamond, the series in which I show you that Elo Hell does not exist. Currently, we are. This Poppy isn't watching, right? Okay, you noticed in time. Uh, we are currently sitting in gold, two promos, I believe. Uh, by the way, if you want to see the entire climb to Diamond Elo, then. Click the subscribe button if you're new, if you don't want to miss out on future episodes. And today I'm showing you a challenger misfortune build. It is uh, ve a very old school, very standard misfortune build um, that, uh, well, <laughs> it's a Dark Harvest build. And Dark Harvest builds are, it's always a little bit sad because old Dark Harvest is gone, but new Dark Harvest works better with your ultimate. So if you're looking for a very relaxed playstyle, um, all you really need to do is stay safe, wait for crowd control to hit, and we have a lot of crowd control in this team, and then just press R, something dies, then this is the build for you. Uh, well, Dog2, challenger on the NA server, uses this every now and then, and um, it should be quite effective. I switched one rune, I go for mana flow band instead of absolute focus, which obviously is less damage, but mana is actually a real stat, and uh, well, if you would like to cast your ultimate, but you can't because of mana constraints, that's very frustrating. And I want to use my spells a little bit more actively. We should pressure this Alistair. Alistair level 1 is super, super weak. So yeah, mana flow band, I like it a lot, especially when you want to put a point into E. Finally Pike starts showing, huh? We push for level 2. And E is quite useful, since it allows you to uh, safely stack some Dark Harvest. Right, um, it's okay. We traded potions essentially. It's level 2, I would not risk this. Don't want to get comboed. Just want to get some farm. Oh, there we go, huh? That's very good. Oh god, please don't die. And he kills himself, sure. Well, that happened. Hope he's still here. We cannot challenge this anymore. We're two versus three. Alright. Going to be a rough game, I can tell you. Best thing I can do here is recall. I cannot walk up for farm. It's three versus one. So yeah, I'll just I'll just go base, get my longsword. Get a potion. I think we should be fine. Buying a control ward might be okay. Question mark. It's fine. All we need to do is to chill. We can definitely carry the mid game with our ultimate. Again, we have a lot of crowd control in this team. And as soon as we hit only one of them, all I need to do is press R and something should die. Even the heavy tanks, as soon as I get my last whisper item, that shouldn't be a concern anymore. Getting this longsword was very important because now I can actually farm all these minions under tower. And uh, Misfortune's base AD is not quite high enough with Laugh Tap to, uh, to actually do that without an extra longsword. So now I get all this farm essentially for free. Well, except for awkward tower timing sh tower shot timings. Uh, but yeah, I can catch up and farm, push in, maybe go back again. Let's see. Depends on how quickly I can push this. Let's push one more wave, then maybe back. They're already returning to lane, but uh, they need to. They need time to um, to answer my push. Okay, Vayne almost inted. Right, at base, get another long sword because why not? We have downtime anyway. We don't have a ward, and Poppy might gank. 
See, they... We don't have vision, but she needs to farm at a tower. The wave resets, and uh, I, I got strut, so I can return to, ba uh, to, to lane super easily. Actually, let's sell this and get boots. Elsa room, okay. Uh, as for boots, we want Swifties this game, just to counter Cassiopeia a W and Nasus W. Just to stay safe. They have level advantage, but that's to be expected. They got a lot of pressure off of this gank. not going well, right? Ooh, actually. Let's not overdo it, though. You saw earlier what happens when you try to dive that. Keep going. Nice. <laughs> oh, this vein is mad. This vein is mad. I would be too. She had an advantage in lane and they completely threw it. That's always frustrating. Still, you need to take uh, take your time. Uh, take a deep breath. Calm down. Tilting never wins you games. It's not how this game works. You need to keep your mental strong. Don't have mana. As soon as I hit level six, I will ult the wave, and then we will recall. Okay, so we ult the next wave, so the wave definitely crashes under tower, and we get a window of opportunity to spend our gold. He's dead. Yeah, it's okay. I semi altered the wave. Which means they cannot pressure our tower too, too much. It's only three castle minions that go on the tower, who cares? Yeah, they got one plating off of this. Could be way worse. That hex flash caught me off guard, I need to admit. <laughs> it's fine. An enemy has been slain. Wave resets. Uh, we should have an advantage here. Item advantage, that is. Damn. Our last hitting skills. Or lack thereof. <laughs> Get a free soul. Always nice. Vayne is still missing. There she goes. Okay, Pike lives, which is good. The downside of farming souls with E is that you don't have your stack ready for an actual fight for the next 45 seconds. But I guess that's fine in the grand scheme of things. Most of the time it doesn't matter. In this fight it mattered a little bit. But to be fair, Alistair would have been on higher HP had I not farmed a soul earlier. 
Now they recall, right? Means we can push this and then go base, get Ghost Blade, Ghost Blade to lane. Now we shouldn't die of this, I'm oom. It's not a good call. Alistair also returns soon. Get more attack damage. For Nasus, you might want to take more to Reminder, healing reduction. But with a fully Thality build, Lord Dorms is just so much extra damage that it's really hard to... Really, it's, it feels really bad to not buy it. And it's only Nasus, and also I think we can manage. We do have Ignites after all. Giving up minions for no reason. This is what I mean. Hit one form of crowd control and they just die. Very relaxing playstyle. Don't need to micro. Too much healing. Maybe I do need healing reduction just to counter Triumph, uh, maybe Ravenous Hunter, Alistair healing. Again, it just feels bad, but I think it's worth it. Okay. I was about to retreat because, um... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, Alistair, that's a diamond flash for you. <laughs> On reaction. Easy. Yo, leave a like if that was sick. <laughs> I need to give up plating, so do I... I get one kill, I think. Oh, actually, they could do that. Yeah, I contemplated just giving that up, but I thought I could manage. Ah. Uh, debatable whether that was a good idea or not. I think it wasn't. <laughs> Should've just based. Um, Cassiopeia got my shutdown gold. It's not worth it. Yeah, I should have definitely based. I got too cocky there. Nice mountain for us. Did they lane swap with mid lane? It actually looks like it. Okay, so we push this in. I don't think we can get a plating, because um, they're falling off in 10 seconds, it's not enough time. Or is it? Yeah, give me that gold. <laughs> I take two tower shots for that, no problem. Kinda low right now. But hey, at least we're rich, right? Good job. Um, we should be pushing to pushing a top lane, but only if we base. So if you're not basing, top lane is too far away, we just rotate mid lane. Dragon is not on the map, so top lane would be optimal. I really need Last Whisper. As long as my ult is off cooldown, I really like to use it before our base. Maybe we can do something top lane. Okay. Maybe we can at least defend the tower. Would be nice. Give me a soul boy. A 
Really? Really, boys? This is what it comes down to. Give me my Swifties right now. Immediately. Oh, Pike. Oh, Pike. Oh, Pike! <laughs> ah, alas. This is not going well. It's 1v4. Alright. Alright. Maybe this is going somewhere. Come on, just... Okay. They finished her. Now, let's take top tower. It's very important that we take that before Baron spawns. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure whether they're on their way towards me. They might be. Tower is gone though. Oh, this vein is so mad. Oh, I didn't turn around quickly enough. He should get her though, and this is a kill and an assist for only a kill. So it's definitely worth. Oh, please kill her. Oh, please. Minions, go. Go, minions. <laughs> okay. Barely. And we get our dust blade. Perfect. So yeah, we definitely need some good team fights now in the mid game. They are out rotating us. For sure. But we got mid tower. Mid tier 1 is actually super huge. Opens up the map for us. We don't have ulti, but we still can deal a lot of damage here. Okay. Dragon's on the map. I'd really like to get that. I have ulti. Come on, land your charm. Do something. What a pity. I will ult this anyway. Should be enough. Or should it? Yeah, okay. Need to defend top lane though. We're giving up too much. Way too much. I'm not managing my control wards very well, need to admit that. Oh, not even a soul for me. Come on, people. This Ari man. My ult should be back up for the next fight. All I need to do is actually get there. We really need to push lanes. We just fight at the wrong times. Oh, 
Yeah. Ah, my teammates are just dead. For no reason. Going out of position. For just random reasons, it seems. Yeah, Baron. She still has ulti, of course. Oh well. I really need my Edge of Night. Okay. That's a start, but we should disengage here. Yeah. That was a bad hook. Maybe I should have sold Dorans for um Fast Whisper. Two versus five. We can't do much, I think. Oh come on, this hex flash. So janky. 9 HP. Hey, this is where we sell Dorans. I need that armor penetration, they're so tanky. We still haven't lost an inhibitor yet. So that's a plus, I suppose. Grievous wounds coming in clutch, huh? Oh, come on, Poppy, give me a break. Yep. Kled is just not with us for some reason. He's giving up two inhibitors for that. Oh, Vi doesn't want to play anymore, huh? Is she dead? Wow. So we did not lose an inhibitor, which is very surprising. They should have chosen one instead of um, splitting. It might be a dragon for us. I wouldn't call this a comeback, but it's a start, at least. Let's 
just ocean, so it's not worth much. But better than nothing, I suppose. You just stay away from Nasus. Nice, okay. If I can join an ult, that's... That's amazing. Unlucky. He might get me. Okay, he doesn't wither. Ah, let's keep them interested. Swifties, boys! Swifties! Come on! Alright. So far, so good. Thanks to Ocean Drake, I actually don't have mana problems. Well, it's the combination of Ocean Drake plus Mana Flow Band. Obviously. I have ulti again. However, I'd like to go base here. To spend gold. If only Pike got that. Give me a soul, Poppy. Don't know where that ward is. Don't care. <laughs> Just need to base. Let's keep an eye on Baron, shall we? Well, actually, it's super strong right now. Even though they stack a lot of defensive items, I think we can melt them. Once we get to six items, uh, we should be able to even kill them with autos. <clears throat> right, they start Baron. Die, Poppy. We got what we wanted, we stole Baron, so all we need to do now is disengage and push with Baron minions. No reason to get fancy. Just disengage, man. Don't have the time to ping them, I just... Uh, to, to type to them, I just ping them back. But yeah, your ult does so much damage with this build, that Baron steals like that are actually not that rare. So much to deal with. It's very hard to smite against it. Okay, so we finish Edge of Night, and then work towards our Blade of the Ruined King, which is very important against their team. They're so tank heavy. I really need that. Oh, come on, people. Why you do this to yourselves? That flash, man. That flash! I'm the flash god! Tell me I'm not the Flash God right now. Oh damn, don't want this. Oh, that crit, man. Poppy wanted us to die, huh? Okay, I guess she gets away here. Once we get our Blade of the Ruined King, this will be so much easier. It's also lifesteal, which is very important against tanks, by the way.
Maybe. Pop here next. Oh damn, she survived the Dark Harvest proc. That's quite a misfortunate. I have ulti. They just cannot walk through that, it's too much damage. Lethality builds kill towers so quickly. Can we end? We might be able to. Yeah, we just finish. And this game once more proves that all you really need to do to increase your chances at winning is keep you calm and uh, try to stay in the game. Don't tilt. Always try to carry 2300 Dark Harvest damage. That's quite a lot. Yeah, good old Dark Harvest Misfortune with full lethality. It's a very glass cannon build, but with good positioning and with the correct boot choices, you definitely can make it work. And with six items, definitely an unstoppable build. Life steal plus all that lethality plus percent health damage. It's just juicy. And Dark Harvest in the late game, even despite all these nerfs, um, very, very strong. So yeah, that was a Challenger Misfortune build, but if you want to see how a pro player builds Misfortune, then click on the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb.